through committees. They are designated by whips on behalf of parties and the speaker in the case of independence. It does not provide for designation of UPDF, both rules. The, I think the rule assumes that UPDF should be in Kasese defending people, not in Parliament. <laughs> so, Madam Speaker, can I be advised under which rule did the UPDF sit and even uh, appointed someone a dean? And that dean parades him or herself before a parliament to begin reading names. Because under 160, it is parties through whips and independents through the speaker. Under 187, it is again parties and independents. So can the UPDF tell us who are supposed to be in Kasese by these rules? Under which rule are they going to designate themselves? I want to refer you to Rule 1886. The party or organization and government shall designate a chairperson or deputy chairperson of each sectoral committee, provided that no active member of Uganda People's Defense Force shall be designated as a chairperson or deputy chairperson of the Committee on Defense and Internal Affairs. Common sense. Yes, UPDF. I know, Madam Speaker, and with the humility, you may, and I'm sorry, you may want to help UPDF, but I think they should make it easy for you. Either they first get out and then we find a way, because the rule, Madam Speaker, you have quoted, only stops appointing them chair and vice chair. But it does not provide for Honorable, their designation. Honorable Subani, you know, how did you bring the UPDF to the House? Thank you very much. <laughs> Brother Speaker, Brother Speaker, let us perhaps help each other by seeking refuge in Rule 8 of our Rules of Procedure. Right on Speaker, this House has set a precedent in as far as designating members of UPDF. And what has been happening, right on Speaker, in the previous Parliament is that designation by the UPDF has been under the discretion and guidance of the Speaker. What has not happened, and which we, which we should do, right now, Speaker, is to regularize the mode of designation and our rules. Otherwise, there is a precedent. And what is happening here is that a precedent has been set Unfortunately, the Rules Committee has not codified that precedent under our Rules of Procedure. UPDF, an organization represented in the House? Yes. Is it an organization represented in the House? Yes. Anyway, let's designate UPDF. We are designating UPDF. And uh, in the next amendment, we will make amendments specific to what the Honorable uh, Semuji is talking about. In the absence of that, I will exercise my powers as a speaker. The Right Honorable Speaker designates. Thank you. I put a question that the Spectral Committee on Defense and Internal Affairs and internal affairs be constituted as proposed as in fact I the control in it. Right, the Committee on East African Community Affairs. 